again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at the KV-4, the Russian Tier 8 Heavy Tank, which is a fortress on tracks. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because one of my subs, a guy called Swati Majadar, asked if I could do a KV-4 review because he's been bugging Bushka and Martin Dogger and apparently they haven't done one and he'd like one. So here we go. This is the KV-4. Now, it doesn't exist in real life. It was just a blueprint tank. It never got off that that chopping block and it was meant to be done as a breakthrough tank which is why it's a colossal fortress now the armor on this is massive but we'll get to that in a moment damage wise it's not too bad rate of fire is very very low penetration is spectacular and the armor as i said is also great it's got 1555 hit points but look at the armor on this thing i mean it is colossal Chances of a fire, 15%. View range, okay, it's just above average. It has no camo profile to, to name realistically. DPM is just over 2,000 a minute, and it's got that reload time of just shy of 9.5 seconds. But look at the pen values. 227 on your standard AP, 289 on your APCR, 62 on your HE. Damage output, you're going to get 320 out of this thing on your standard HP, 400 on your HE if you're lucky. Aim time, it's a bit long, unfortunately. Depression wise, well, it's got no depression. I mean, six degrees, nothing. And it's a big, super heavy beast. So your top speed is 30 going forwards, 11 going backwards, giving you an average of 25. And it's pretty bloody heavy. But then again, it is a super heavy tank. But what is it about this tank? I mean, here's the armor. I mean, just look at it. I mean, it is a fortress. This thing is just thick of armor the only real weak spot is that back there don't get me wrong it can be penned but boy you can bounce this massively this is it up against an is3 and as you see if you wiggle it and jiggle it and angle it slightly the is3 is going to find it difficult to pen you there are only some you know those shots those green spots that you're seeing are very very small on the tank they really really are so you need to understand the armor profile in this tank get the most out of it but what about the gun i mean the gun is pretty nice i mean look at this i have no problem there penning that is3 and then i have no problem bouncing him and this is the thing about this tank okay the reload is long i mean nine and a half seconds is a long time but for a tank that will pen almost anything in front of it assuming your russian gunner isn't on too much of the happy juice then you know you you can just really cause mayhem on the battlefield in this thing and if you know the profile of the armor and you know how to wiggle it and jiggle it you're just going to bounce everything till the cows come home and, and i mean that and i'm going to show you a clip in a moment where okay we lost but it's me against three tanks so i'm going to go down here i'm going to take out this jack panther um i bounce him first unfortunately because i hit his gun mantle which is the thickest part of a jack panther but not to worry, I'm going to roll up again, stick another one into him, take him out. There's Guyo, bounce. Now, I've only bounced 220 at this stage. I've dished out 1,257 damage, but I've only bounced 220. It's me against, well, five. There's an IS-4, there's a T uh, T-43, take him out and bounce him. Now I've bounced 400. That Rudy has been lucky all game, by the way. I missed him three times. It's just outrageous. I bounced him twice. He was a very lucky player indeed. Now I've bounced, as I said, 425. I've taken two kills. Now I know they're all going to rush me. Then why not? It's four against one. So, bang, bounce. Okay, he gets me. Now I've got to angle up to the scent. If I bounce him. Now I'm trying to angle up to all these tanks at the same time. I've got four of them all in front of me. Take out the Tiger too. He was an easy kill. I've now bounced 1,400. Bounce another one. 1,500. Bounce two more. Now bounced over 2,500. And because I'm angling up, I'm trying to angle up to all these tanks at the same time. And I bounce again. So now I've bounced 2,400. And eventually they're going to get me. But I end up bouncing 2,740. That is what you can do in this tank. A lot of people don't like this tank. I, I mean, I love this tank. Um, I don't like the Russian gunner. He was on too much happy juice there, and that went completely... God knows where it went. Now, when I got the, the uh, request to do this video, I was told, oh, you know, so what he said, oh, there's dope, so I get penned everywhere, there's so many weak spots. Not true on this tank. Um, I mean, okay, APCR is going to go through you, HE is going to sort of take splash damage out of you. But if you know how to angle this thing, 
and you understand that armor profile, boy, you're pretty difficult to pen. Now, okay, th there's a Jack Panther down there who's penned me, then he's bounced me. So again, I've bounced 700 and I've dished out 1,000 odd damage. I I'm not going to sit here and wait. Um, you know, I'm going to push through because to bounce another one and another one. Now bounced over a thousand. I mean, look at this. Gunner suddenly woke up. I mean, that is a fantastic shot on a KV4, funnily enough. So now I've done 1,200 damage, not much. Bounced over a thousand, which is good going. And I'm going to push on these because the IS-3 Defender is, you know, the one that worries me the most. The, the downside to this tank is the long aim time and the long reload. And you need to be mindful of that. When you're pushing with this thing, be careful guys, because almost 10 seconds is a long time for a heavy tank. But it is manageable. And the glorious thing about this is, you know, you don't need to put it hull down or anything like that, because it's pretty rock solid wherever you put it. You just need to make sure you know the angles. So let's take out the IS-3, boom, there he goes. So I've still only bounced 1,000. Now I've taken over 2,000 damage. I'm gonna smack the Jag Panther now, because he smacked me earlier. Take him out, big roll. So 2,300 dished out. I'm gonna cap this base, which is uh, ideally what I need to do. Uh, okay. I wouldn't have loaded in time anyway before the uh, the other tanks got there to kill that AMX. We get a nice first class. Now, the, other, the I'm going to show you this clip here. I mean, I played all these games yesterday. I, only, I got the request yesterday. Um, I didn't master any of the games. Um, I have aced this tank a few times in the past. Uh, and I haven't played it for a long time. And unlike most people, I absolutely love this tank. I think it's spectacular. I mean, KV-3, get out of the way! <laughs> oh dear. Didn't want to get out of the way. Not to worry. The thing about this tank is, if you like super heavies, this is a beautiful super heavy. This is the tier 8 Russian version of a mouse, effectively. And you've got to understand the role that this tank plays. You've got all those hit points and that thick armor for a reason. You're meant to put yourself in harm's way, but you can't just put yourself in harm's way and hope for the best. You've got to understand how to angle it, how to wiggle it, how to jiggle it, and how to effectively use it. And I keep saying this, in, play the tank guys, not the tier. And I know Bushka says that a lot, and it's true because every tank has different attributes and they have those attributes for a reason. This tank has got pants gun depression. It's got absolutely pants mobility. But what it does have is a gun that, okay, whilst it's a long aim time and a long load time, will dish out a lot of damage and will pen almost everything. Number one. And it's got mega massive armor. Number two. That should tell you something on how you play this tank. Here's another KV-4. Now watch this. He's on a reload. I'm now going to angle my front to him. And he can't pen me. And he's like, where do I pen you? He hasn't got a clue. Look, because because of my angle, he just cannot pen me. No, he's side on. I can pen him all over the place. But he cannot pen me. And he's really looking hard where to hit me. And he just doesn't know where. And that's the thing about the KV-4. And a lot of people forget this. It's a very flat-sided tank, apart from on the turret. You can see the turret is slightly angled and slightly sloped. And the thing about this tank is just that. You turn it on those slight angles, and you're just a big red tomato to everybody. It's, it's in my thumb slips here, so I shoot them around. <laughs> but I'll give them a bit of a ramp for 56. <laughs> it's not a problem. So I've done 2,000 damage here. I've bounced nothing in this game. Uh, but it just goes to show the versatility of the tank. And a lot of people don't get on with this tank for whatever reason. I love it. I think it's a spectacular, super heavy tank. And once you understand its quirks, boy, you can have fun in this thing. So here we are again on Canyon. And as you can see, I'm being smacked there from the T26. Um, so I'm going to have to load APCR because he's difficult to pen front on. Bounce him, then stick a roll into him. Now I'm worried about that 704. The object 704 is going to hurt me. He does hurt me. Not to worry, I'm now going to roll up, I'm going to forget the T26, um, oh no, I'm going to smack him first, I'm going to forget the 704 I meant to say. Now I'm going to push the 704 once I've loaded. 
Um, why? Because the 704 is a pain. I'd like to take the T26, but I mean, he smacks me again, but I miss him completely. Well, I don't miss him, he bounces him. Now I've got the 704 to contend with. The 704 is side on. If I can load in time, I can smack him for about 300. Boom, there we go. Now I angle. Now I angle. Go on, shoot me, shoot me. Yes, there we go. And we bounce over 600. Now I can take him out. Gone. So, I've done 1,000. Bounce 600. Taken out a very formidable tank, the 704. Now I can cap the base. And I can see that, you know, there are two TDs down there. There's the ISU-152 uh, and a Waffle Tractor. Load HE. Stick a roll into the Waffle Tractor. 427. Pretty high roll on the HE for this tank. Now I've capped the base, I need to move forward, but I'm very worried about the uh, the two TDs down there. I'd like to take out... Um, oh, he's gone. <laughs> so I'd like to take out something, I'd like to smack something. There's a T32, I believe, there. So the T32 is being dealt with anyway by our WZ. So not to worry, I'm going to go down and help the WZ out. Maybe I can get something into the T32. Uh, there we go. Boom. Yes. Take something into him. Allows him. Another massive bounce. Look. Now bounce 1,325. I think that was from the Waffle Tractor. Um, let's see if we can load him up. I'm not going to use HE this time. I've made that mistake too many times. Load AP. Take the Waffle Tractor out. 2,000 odd damage. Doubt. 1,300 bounced. There's the ISU, stick one into him, there we go, nice roll, over 300, somebody takes him out, I'm not going to get to the IS-3 in time, not to worry, I've done, I've done 2,300 on damage and I've bounced 1,325, and I capped a base, and this is about what you need to look for in this tank, so here we go again, this time on Middleburg, now I've already capped the B cap, I can see that there are at least three tanks in front of me, there's the IS-6, there is a Panther 2, and there is a Tiger 1. There we go. Um, so I'm going to come back here. Oh, Tiger, bounce me. I'm not going to bounce him, though, look, because he's flat on. Oh, then I bounce something else, so now bounce 400. Dished out 900 damage already. Oh, it was the Black Prince. Now the Tiger's showing me his engine. Smack him up the backside. There we go, number 337. So I've now done 1,270, and I'm just going to stay around this base. I'm not going to move very far because I'm in a good position here. I've got good places. Here comes the Tiger again. Smack him again. He's going to smack me. Another bounce. 650. There's still the Tiger bounces him again. Now I'm up to 850. I know the IS-6, the Black Prince and the Panther 2 are all here. There they all are. I came out too far there. They've all smacked me. Taken a third of my hit points. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, Tiger again. Hello, hit you, 1,900, I still need about 680 this time. Here comes the IS-6, hopefully I can load and put one into the side of him. Ah, it was a bounce. Ah, wow, it happens. Tiger 1 is still there, uh, I'm not going to load in time, not a problem. Now I've got the IS-6 and the Tiger 1 and the Black Prince. Oh, hello, IS-6, put a big roll into him, he's now one shot. Panther 2 is trying to get around, bounce him again, now I've bounced 1,000, done 2,224 damage. Now I can take out the Tiger 1, stick it into his lower plate, okay, he's only 51 hit points. There is a tank behind me smacking me, I don't know what my team is doing. Now I'm going to smack the E25, boom, there we go, E25, you've been smacked. Um, hopefully I can smack him again, oh, bounce him, no, can't smack him. What about you? So I've done... 1,700 in bounces, and I've done 2,900 in damage, and I've capped a base. This is a fantastic tank, guys. It really is a great tank. So, you know, I, I understand why people don't get on with it, but, I, I, you know, I think it's a lovely tank, and it just needs that little bit of understanding. This is the last game. Here we are on Oasis Palms, and I, 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 I want to show you this game because I want to show you the versatility of tank so I'm gonna go all I'm gonna do I'm not gonna play aggressively we've already taken the A cap they've taken the C cap they have got no choice but to push if I take the B cap they're all in front of me effectively so I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna use my gun and my armor and I'm gonna make them push and that is it nothing else now what choice do they have if they want to win the game they've got to push 
They have no choice in that. We've got two caps. We're already up on cap points. We've lost a tank, so I can smack the Alti TP. Alti TP is now gone. Not because of me, but because I smacked him. There's the IS-3 Defender. Hopefully I can put one into him. Boom. There we go. So, I'm just going to sit here. I've done 600 damage already, sorry. Um, they've got to present. I mean, they are now struggling. They are now down on cap points. Oh, here comes my Russian gunner. Boom. Got that balance him. So I'll now bounce 135. Dished out 600. There is a T28 concept. Can I smack him? Even though I've got a bad gun. But when I'm in a position like this, aim time is adjusted. So now I've done 900 damage. Still only bounced that uh, 137. 135, sorry. I'm just going to say here, they can't do anything. I'm going to smack him again. Boom. I track him, unfortunately. Um, dispersion there. Thank you very much, RNG. Just he's now going to go behind the building. Can't do much about that. IS3 is making a break, but he goes behind a sand dune. We're we're we've got control of this game. Hello, IS3. Bang! Stick an APCR into you just to make sure. So now I'm going to switch back to AP because I don't need APCR when they're all presenting like this. Uh, there's the HTC. Come on, look at that, what a shot. So, 1,500 damage. Now, they've got a push. The IS-3 defender is making a move. Let's knock him out. Boom, there he goes. Sorry, it was an IS-5. God, my eyesight is just going. So, kill the IS-5. They're trying to cap A. It's a rude, it's an RU. Let's take out the RU, even though it's going to annoy the AMX who's been tussling with him. RU is now gone. Just over 2,000 damage. We only bounced about 300. But we, we're going to win on cap points. It's as simple as that. And that's what you can do in this tank, guys. It is a great tank. I love it. We get another first class. And I'll shed a load of credits. Now, that has been the KV-4. It's not as tricky as you think to play. You just need to understand that armor profile. Once you understand that armor profile, it is a dream tank to play. Like I said, I absolutely adore it. Anyway, I've been Fujit, that's been the KV-4. It was a request by Sawati Majumdar. I hope that was useful for you. By all means, comment, like, and all the other stuff below. Um, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or join my Discord and upload them there. Um, if you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do, makes me happy, costs you nothing. And until the next time, I will say, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because you know what? That's what it's all about, guys. Having fun and being happy.